Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I hope you guys are having a great day. So in this video, we're going to be continuing with our lab setup. This is actually the final step before we actually install the CCM. So I'm super excited. Um, it's like a long buildup <laughs> to this. But um, in this video, uh, we're going to be configuring our firewall, firewall rules. So um, we're gonna add the firewall rules. Firewall rules, I feel like that's like a tongue twister. Firewall rules needed for the SCCM installation. Um, but I hope you guys really enjoy this video um, or enjoy the video at least. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna go to tools, group policy management. We're gonna expand our forest and we're gonna expand the domains. We're gonna expand that pleon.com. Um, let me go ahead and make this window bigger. Then we're going to select group policy objects. Um, okay, group policy objects, we right click that and we're gonna select new. And we're gonna name this one SCCM firewall uh, ports. Oops, I spelled that one wrong. So SCCM firewall ports, P-O-R-T-S. I'm gonna put okay. Gonna select that one, edit. And then we're going to go to computer configuration, then expand policies. Um, let me go ahead and make this window bigger too. We're gonna expand window settings. So let me make this bigger. And under window settings, we're going to select security settings and expand that one and then we're going to select windows defender firewall with advanced security so we're going to expand that folder we're going to select expand the windows defender firewall and then we're going to create an inbound rule So we're going to right click that, select a new rule. We're gonna select predefined and this one is going to be our file and printer sharing um, rule. So find file and printer sharing. And then we're gonna select next. Gonna select next. And then we're going to allow the connection and we're going to select finish. So our first inbound rule is to allow the connection for the file and print to sharing. Then we're going to go to outbound rules and right click that, select new rule. So we're going to create a new rule, uh, predefined. This one will also be the file and print to sharing. So we'll find that one, select next, next. And so you're going to want to change it to allow the connection. And put finish. We have an outbound rule as well for the file and printer sharing. Okay, so then we're going to select inbound rules. And we're going to right click that one and select a new rule. This one is also going to be predefined. So we're going to go to the drop down menu. going to find da, 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 which one we gonna find windows not that one not nope not that one <laughs> windows management instrumentation wmi we're going to select next next allow the connection finish so now we have another inbound rule for the windows in management instrumentation and the next thing we're going to do is create an another inbound rule so this one is going to be for ports. So this is gonna to apply to the TCP transmission control protocol and the specific ports we're gonna select are 1433. And that one is the default SQL port um, for our SQL server. Um, our next one is gonna be 4022. This one is also for our SQL server. Um, I forgot what it was, but I think it's like SQL server services or something like that. So we're gonna put those two 
put next and we're going to allow the connection. We're going to put next and um, we're going to name this one, sorry. It's going to be ports 1433 and 4022. And now we're going to go ahead and select finish. All right, so now we have an inbound rule for those ports to allow them. All right, so we have all of our fire, firewall inbound and outbound rules created. Um, so that's all good to go now. The next thing that we're going to do, we're gonna go ahead and close out of here. We're gonna right click this and select link an existing group policy to our uh, CCM firewall ports group policy. And so now we have the inbound and outbound rules that we created for our um, lab setup and in order for us to be able to install SCCM. And we linked it to the group policy that we created for the SCCM firewall ports. The next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is restart about all of our machines so that way the group policy um, applies. Another way to usually um, apply a group policy after it's just been created is if you go to the command prompt and you, um, you enter, it's like GP update, and then you can do like a force or slash forward slash, I think it's forward slash, yeah, forward slash um, force. But anyways, there's another way to do it through the command, command prompt to update the group policy that you create. Um, I didn't do it for this one. I just went ahead and restarted all of my machines. But anyways, uh, that's all for our fire, firewall rule creation. In our next video, we're actually going to install SCCM. So we're finally at that point where we're, we have everything set up. We have everything um, good to go in order for us to actually install SCCM. So I'm super excited. It took a long time to get to this point. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, please feel free to comment uh, if you have any, any suggestions or any feedback. Uh, if you want to go ahead and also like this video and subscribe to my channel for uh, more content or to watch any future videos that I post up, that would be great too. But anyways, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye.